I'm stoked I'm in the first Bandscape video and I'm going to be in a video with Ray Barbie, Steve Cab, Tony Alva, Anthony Van Anglen, Tony Trujillo, Chima Ferguson, Gilbert Crockett, Rowan Zarilla and a bunch of other dudes that I'm honored to be in the same video as them. Like I'm not getting thrown off the bowl, that's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, it's amazing. You know, at first I thought with Greg it was going to be difficult because I wasn't sure what his vision was, you know. And then when I saw kind of what he was trying to do and I realized, you know, the aesthetic and that the reason why he wanted to shoot it in Venice instead of Ocean Park where I grew up, it's the soul, it's the essence, you know, of like the whole thing where surfing and skateboarding and west side of Los Angeles and where it all meets and, and what it means, you know. And what it means not only to the culture, but what it means to Vans, you know. So basically, like, were you coming to frame if you want background or whatever, but then maybe like a trick on the curb. Yeah, or maybe I could. Um, like that's kind of cool. Slappy up. Now you can get up on yeah. onto the sidewalk by slapping. But I want to add this real quickly. As soon as his feet jump in, he's going to take a step. The camera's going to pan up and just have you drop in just to start the skating. I mean, I'm doing a video part at f almost 48 years old. I never even thought I'd have another video part, let alone be in the Vans video and the first Vans video ever. You know, the Vans video has been in the works for I don't know how many years. I mean, there's always been talk about the Vans video coming out or working on the Vans video, but it's, it's been a long process and, it's, and it, they'd never had someone to really follow through with the idea. And, and finally, when they heard that Greg Hunt was gonna be a part of the, uh, the production, I knew that finally we're going to have a premiere someday. <laughs> as soon as Greg Hunt was hired to do this project, I knew like, okay, we're doing it now. I love the dude, love working with him, and he's done so much good stuff before. And Vans has given him the opportunity to shine. It's going to be, I mean, I waited my whole life. They filmed, but never put it together. And then getting Greg a couple of years ago and putting a stake in the ground saying, we're going to do this. We all owe Vans escape video that they can be proud of you know we've everyone that's in the videos put all their hard and energy into making the best video parts that they can make but more importantly vans deserves that i definitely going at the start of the vans thing i had a hard time getting going in my head i'm just like you know, you know i don't know you're so critical as if you know when you put yourself out there you know fuck i was just kind of what, I suck now? And I was going, you know, when you're in that headspace, so then you go out and try and skate, you know, it's just not happening, you know? And so you, you make that neg negativity a reality, you know? And I, I went through a lot of that. And I don't know why, you know, mixed with other things, I finally was like, I had had it with that, you know? So I just let go and just was like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking enjoy skateboarding, whatever it is at this point. For me, it's the biggest project that I've taken on. And to work with these guys and do it as we've done it, and everyone put their heart in it, like you'll see, there's heart in it. And I'm really proud. I'm just super proud to have finished such a solid piece of work, you know? Not on my part only, but just to be part of this masterpiece. I want people to like it, but that's not the main goal. The main thing was to finish this major project, and we did it, and it's like, whew, I feel good. A little bit different video process for me. I, don't, I felt a little bit of filming pressure towards the end of the deadline because I've had four surgeries filming for this and the last slam I took, I was out for five months with a lacerated kidney, internal bleeding in my whole back cavity, you know? And so I had to come back from that internal bleeding right into this fan's video deadline. Not ideal. That was the only pressure that I felt. But once I started to like, get back in the groove and I kind of hit that filming level, um, 
enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, that was just about the best slam ever. Working on the video has been fucking torturous. For me, I was injured like a lot of the time, so I pretty much only got to step to the plate for this past like one year because I've just been through so many. Every time I pretty much try to get a trick, I get hurt for like two months. So every trick that, for me, I'm trying now is gnarlier than any trick I tried when I was like 18. So it's like, shit, like I'm older than ever trying the craziest shit in my life for this video. I mean, there's always more that you want to film for a video before you, before you finish with it, but I guess, you know, five years is a long time to put everything together, so it came out as good as I wanted it to come out, I guess. We've been filming for an endless amount of time, like, like seven years of filming, and the video cameras have changed, obviously, so that's changed. And so it's basically like, when they finally decided to set their mark, it's basically been the last three years. So everyone says we've been filming for five years, well, that's not true. We've been hardcore filming for three years, I'd say. Cody Green, best dude ever. He's one of the main reasons that, or how my part has come, or how it looks, fucking he's definitely helped a lot. Like, I've been out in the streets with him more than anyone. I'm more of a Cody kind of guy, because he's like, you know, he's like on the streets every day, but when Greg comes out, it's like a different energy. Everyone's like, all right, this is serious, because the, the director is here, you know what I mean? Like, director on set. <laughs> Shoot, working with Greg's been a dream. It's been sick. He pushes us in the correct manner, so to speak, you know, like um, each person individually, he kind of works with you in your realm, how you feel. But I definitely felt a guiding push. I don't know if those long periods of times where like I was kind of over it, if I was working with somebody else, you know, uh, fell through the cracks there, you know, because we wouldn't have that relationship, you know. And then aside from that, when you're actually fucking trying a trick for four hours, you know, whatever, like, there's never a doubt in my mind on any level of what he's gonna do, you know, and I know it's gonna be, you know, the best possible. With our team, you would sit there and say, there's not, let's say, the competition's not the, the, the thing. It's not, you know, what's on their DNA. They, you know, they, they, they like skating and their love for skating and stuff. And that's, you know, we don't sit there and say, oh, you gotta be a robot and you gotta go into this contest and do that there and stuff. You know, take them for what they are and uh, hopefully the video is gonna show what they are and stuff, that's what I'm excited about. I love skateboarding, man. Like, I love it more than I ever done. You know, and like, this fan's video has been, for me, easier than other videos to film because I, my heart was in it. It's a respect thing on that one. The commitment's already there. The commitment's been there since 1998 with Vans for me. Stay true to what you love and don't allow anything to to steer you from that. Stay passionate, have integrity. For skateboarding, it's something that I've loved with my whole heart, you know, and to, to me, that's why I'd still do it today. Once you fall in love with skating, you always gotta roll, you know? I don't have anything else like that in my life, you know? That I can really feel myself out and work with myself and get through things, like, and accomplish goals, I suppose. It's. It's my vehicle of creativity. That's what it is, yeah, my vehicle of creativity. That I can't stop that, you know? Everyone's like, I do it for me, for personal satisfaction. They think they're Pat Duffy in the rain, but at the end of the day, it's like seeing like the smiles on your friends' faces when you do shit, you know? It's like, you want all the people around you to be happy and respect you. That's what skating is, is respect. The way I feel about skateboarding, you ride and support a brand. Man, you better believe in it. You know, not just wear the product and wear the logo and wear a huge logo at every event. You gotta believe in 
the brand vision, where it's going, and you want that to be aligned with your vision because you have goals too. You know, everyone has their view and idea of what's cool and what's going to happen and what's going to be the next big thing, but I, I just look at bands as like, if they've made it this far and they're not stopping, they're not slowing down. Because it, it's not just a shoe or clothing, it's music, it's skateboarding, it's lifestyle, it's attitude, it's aggression, it's passion, it's determination. If we don't, if we don't have a passion for something, than where anybody else. So we, if we have passion for skateboarding, music, art, street culture, then that means we belong to a certain group of kids out there. Doesn't matter if it's girls or guys, colleges, that they're skateboarding along just for transportation, young kids going to the thousands of skate parks, they're all part of what our future is. So our future is keep rolling forward.